rain becoming drizzly near 40 for a high. And then on Sunday, a mixture of clouds and sunshine and 38 degrees. Light snow at about 26 at Martinsburg, 27 at Charlestown, 28 at Percival this hour. North winds at 8. Humidity at 100% or thereabouts. The barometer falling at 30.29. That's the WXVA exclusive. AccuWeather forecast. Hello. Hello, Frank. Thanks for holding. Yes, sir. What are, do you know? Are you there? I sure am. In answering that lady's question, who wanted to know where the snow snake came from. Uh-huh. It came from the Arctic region of the world. Oh. And then it slithered and, and meandered down through Canada and the northern United States. Uh-huh. I believe the, one of its entrance points was in it. Uh, Dakotas. That could be. I, and then I, a few of them have slithered farther south down over Mason-Dixon line and there are a few of them down south now. Uh-huh. Now, the farther south they go, the less of that fur. See, they, they shed some of that fur. Oh, I see. I uh, see. Down below Mason-Dixon line. Uh-huh. Okay, sir. Now, oh, oh. now, let me mention snipes, please. Okay. A snipe is a game bird and in certain sections of the United States it's hunted, hunted legally as a game bird I've heard uh, I've, I've heard you know they always they always say about the old joke about going out in the hurt see, uh, hunting uh, hunting snipe but see, all of that's not a joke uh-huh thank you thanks for calling bye Frank bye bye okay I got another call hello uh hello uh, yeah. I was I was listening to the snow snake stories. Uh huh. And uh, I I called in because my brother he lives in Iowa. Uh huh. And last winter he was bitten by one of these uh, snow snakes. He was. Yes. For goodness sakes, what happened? And well, he was taken to the hospital, but he said that when he got there, it it hurt more than it was poisonous. He oh. Said oh. They didn't have to give him anything. I'll be darned. He just kind of licked it clean. I'll be doggone. Just a little back. So, well, well, that's kind of comforting to know. Maybe different people have different tolerances, too. You, yeah, maybe so. And he said that it was furry. Yeah. It was pretty big. Huh. Well, he must be a tough hombre then, huh? Well, yeah. We, we come from the mountains. Well, okay. That kind of explains part of it then. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thanks for the story. All stuff. right. All right. <laughs> okay, bye. See you later. Okay. Hello? North American Indian game and it used to be hurtled along ice or snowy ground. Well, I'll be doggone. Uh, does it say uh, where uh, where you can find them at? No, it doesn't. Huh. <laughs> well, <laughs> who knows? Could be anywhere then, eh? Yeah. Well, great. Well, thanks for calling. Uh -huh. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, telephone lines are open at 725-0402 or 1-800-876-WXVA. Where are those snow snakes at? Van Toll Flores. Ice cubes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you can bait it with ice cubes and uh, put it in a sack. Puts a bunch of ice cubes in a sack and then uh, it'll, like, go in after the ice cubes. Ain't that interesting? Yeah, it is. Yeah, well, <laughs> okay. uh, it's nice talking to you. Well, thanks for calling. Yeah, sure is. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, and we have, I believe, another call here. Hello? Hello? Okay, well, I guess we don't. Okay, well, if you uh, know anything about uh, snow snakes, uh, give me a call. But, uh, yes, there is such thing as a snipe. It's a small bird indigenous to the south. Call me at 725-0402 or 1-800-876-WXVA. Barnhart Supermarket's best buy. It has a hunting season for snipe, evidently. Oh, really? Yes. On the, uh, this last year's hunting and trapping regulations for West Virginia, at the very bottom line in the yellow section, uh -huh. it says geese, ducks, uh, does, whatever, whatever, and... Mm. Right at the end, it says, common snipe. I'll be doggone. And then it says, see your DNR migratory bird honey. Uh-huh. So there is well, uh, a uh, snipe, and I have seen a snipe. It, it is a small bird. It has long legs and a, long, a very long bill. Uh-huh. They... And they're usually, you find them around beaches. Oh, uh-huh. 
was, uh, but I did get caught in the snipe hunting when I was about 12 years old. <laughs> yeah, I think we've all been there at least once or twice, or at least to have the offer. <laughs> yeah. But uh, as far as hunting them snipes, though, what would you shoot something that small with, though, I wonder? It would have to be a, uh, a small... Uh, Small caliber or uh, uh, not small caliber. I, I mean a small load. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, shotgun like a like a seven or eight. Mm hmm. A bird shot. You'd have to get quite a few a few, a few though to make a mess though, wouldn't you? Yeah, it'd be the same like a dove. I yeah. Mean, yeah, there ain't much to them either, is there? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for calling. Okay. Appreciate it. Uh -huh. Bye bye. Okay, now there's uh, other testimonial that uh, would uh, be indicative of uh, that there really is such thing as a snipe. But if you know anything about snow snakes, uh, give me a call, 725-0402 or 1-800-876-WXVA. Art Ross Jr. on the air. Hi, Art. like to talk about football. Okay, who do you like on Super Sunday? They get about 8 to 10 foot long, so some of your callers have been right. Uh -huh. But they've got the location wrong. Okay. Okay. Now, on what you have to do, um, you have to go to the Florida Keys. Because mm -hmm. they're really warm. So the ones they've been seeing up here, they're looking for a warm spot. Now, I guess if you see any, you should direct them down to the Florida Keys. Point them south, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. They have rectangle eyes. Oh, rectangular, yeah, rectangular eyes. Oh. And they can't see with them. But oh. one is black and one is white, and they play music. They play music? Right. Okay? Huh. Now, down there, they call them leg pullers. Oh, I see. And it is wonderful <clears throat> if you are bitten by one uh -huh. on the only day of the year that they come out and play. Oh, yeah? And that's February the 30th. No. Yep. Yep. Ooh. We were down there, and they're a sight to behold. I'll be darned. Yes, sir. Well, so they're really, uh, they're, they're really looking for warm places to go then. Oh, absolutely. And you know what I thought was so funny? I suppose they should probably sue that fella that sings that Don't Worry, Be Happy song because that's the tune they play. <laughs> that's the tune that their eyes play. No! Yeah, yeah, so if you're down there on February 30th, boy, you got to get to the Keys and see these. It, it is really a treat. I would love to do that, you know? Right. Okay, well, thank you. Okay. <laughs> you have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. <laughs> that goes all the way back into the 50s. Uh-huh. And first of all... Um, you know how the American snakes, we can use them, the venom, to make medicine? Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, bear that in mind, because this goes to go back to the 50s, okay? Okay. Also, uh, you know, these people who say that if you pick a snow snake up by his tail, mm -hmm. his eyes will fall out? <laughs> well, that's wrong. Oh. Because, I mean, I know now this goes back to the 50s. I know that's wrong, because I'll tell you why. Okay. Right behind the crawlers, you know, it's just, it butts off. There is no actual tail, like, you know, like our snakes. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, now what happened was, where I got my information was, was back in the early 50s. And a guy told me that the snow snake has the venom. And beyond Mars, there is a planet that we don't know about. Uh-huh. And they use that venom to cure a lot of diseases up there. Well, they do. And the guy that told me, you know, the guy told me in the early 50s, uh-huh, and... He had just gotten off, you know, of a shiny, you know, spaceship. Yeah. And he did hypnotize me that I couldn't tell the story until the 90s. Well, I'll be darned. Because then their planet is far enough away that they're out of our system. Well, I'll be darned. So, I mean, you you know, you can go ahead and record this because this is the gospel. Huh, so they use it uh, on another planet to record... Yeah, and, they, uh, and that's why we don't see any snow snakes anymore. Back in the 50s, there was a lot of them around. I'll be doggone. The people that told you that they saw them, uh -huh. they didn't actually see them after the 50s. It had to be for, before the 50s before they saw them. So it was uh, during that time period, huh? That's, that's right. I'll be, I'll be doggone. And you can go ahead and record that and, uh, you know, take my word for it. I wouldn't lie to you. Okay, well, thanks for calling. Sure, uh-huh. Okay, bye. -bye. Hey, bye. Um, I was the guy with the snow snakes in my basement. Mm-hmm. Um, I let it up. And when you played that Bette Midler song, it started swerving and kind of dancing around. Yeah, they do that. It, it, it really liked that song. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like here on the floor now, and it's, 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 it's pretty, it's kind of calmed down now. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear it, but I, I wouldn't get too close to it. Well, it, it's kind of calmed down. I wasn't real sure what to do with it, so. 
is it is it okay to like is it okay to pet and everything? Well, it's I don't like, know. I uh, you know I I wouldn't, but I I wouldn't advise it. But uh, you know, uh, um, you know, but uh, <laughs> you have to uh, use your own instincts, I guess. Okay. All right. Well, well thanks for calling. Well, can I, like, feed it snowballs or something? Well, ice cubes, really. Uh, ice cubes. Yeah, oh. ice cubes. Yeah, that's the thing there. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Mm, a -bye. Bye. couple of minutes now away from news time. Coming up right after the uh, news and, of course, the weather.